day four of deliberations, Kyle Rittenhouse found not guilty on all counts. After three and a half days of deliberation, the jury reaches a verdict in a case that has gained attention all across the country. And tonight, there have been protests around the country reacting to this verdict. This is a live picture of demonstrators marching in Brooklyn in New York City. A similar demonstration also taking part in Chicago. So far, no reports of any major incidents, but you can see a lot of people there. It looks like they're walking on pathways right now, but at other points in time, they have been walking on roadways blocking traffic. Now, back here in Wisconsin, in Kenosha, things have remained quiet this evening. Let's get out live to our Cassidy Williams, who joins us from there. It has been a long three weeks here in Kenosha as the community waits for the Kyle Rittenhouse trial to end. Two of the charges against him dismissed before the case even got to the jury. Today, a jury acquitted him on all five charges. This case officially over. Not guilty. 18 year old Kyle Rittenhouse struggles to stay standing. As he learns, he is now a free man. I don't want to say the weight of the world is lifted off my shoulders because I wasn't going to prison today, but I, I take my client's cases very serious. At a press conference after the verdict, lead defense attorney Mark Richards says he believes the judge ran a fair trial. It was a case about self-defense the right to protect oneself. The defense argued self-defense from the start, filing for a mistrial over some of the prosecution's questions and disagreements over the use of drone video. Both would have been likely topics for an appeal, but because Rittenhouse was acquitted on all charges, the criminal case is over for good. Prosecutors did not talk to the media after the verdict, but in a statement, District Attorney Michael Gravely said, quote, we respect the jury verdict based on three and a half days of careful deliberations. Certainly, issues regarding the privilege of self-defense remains highly contentious in our current times. After the verdict, the judge thanked the jurors for their service. I couldn't have asked for a better jury to work with. More than 24 hours of deliberating, over before the weekend. It's the longest jury I've ever had out. Um, wow. Can I go home? Now, the courthouse steps had remained empty for the majority of the evening, but about 15 minutes ago, a group started to gather once again. There's around a couple dozen people out once again here with signs, but it has remained peaceful. And now while this criminal trial is over, civil suits are expected to be filed related to what happened on August 25th, 2020. Live in Kenosha, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. We'll keep an eye on that group behind you. Cassidy, thank you.